Okay, today we are talking about the, the reasons why he doesn't share his feelings with you. This is a very important topic because when you get the reasons why, you will start to feel more empowered. Um, this understanding will really bring you to another level in your relationship and he will feel like you really could be the one. And that's what we want him to get to. Because if you are there, then um, what's going to happen a lot of times is you're trying to uh, give him the reasons why it should go that way. You're going to talk to him about it. And these are things that I want to caution you about, tell you about. So settle into this uh, video because this is um, a, a lot of information. These are the reasons and you need to know them. So here we go. Let's get to a few of them. Um, not really in any particular order because you have to look at your guy, this relationship, and really um, hone in on what it might be specifically for him. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you pretty much without question, it is a combination of these reasons. There's not just one. So let's get to um, get to them and then some tips at the end for what you can do instead. All right, one of the um, main reasons he doesn't share his feelings with you is because he is not clear on his feelings. He doesn't know them in the way that you know yours. You can say, well, well, how can that be? Maybe he's uh, told you he loves you, and uh, that's going to be true. But you see, we connote things out of words like that. So, for example, if he says he loves you, that means then he commits. Because, like you know, if you've read my book, you understand uh, one of my foundational principles and gender gaps, which is women um, uh, uh, commit out of love alone, and men do not. Okay? Um, women bond through time and sex, and men do not. So just because he loves you doesn't mean he is going to commit to you. So sharing that is just going to be too uncomfortable for him because of these other reasons. One of them is he doesn't want to talk about it because he hasn't made a decision. Another foundational understanding principle you must have. <laughs> Women live via their emotions. Men live via their decisions. If you're unclear about your feelings, you haven't made a decision. And because men are on top of time. I talk about this in my book, and I got this from a wonderful uh, writer from years ago uh, about these topics of relationships, Barbara DeAngelis. And she explains, and, and I go into it a bit in my book, about men being on top of time. And that means they're in the here and now with their feelings. They are the natural hunters, and hunters must be quick, and um, act quickly and there's no time for anything else, an emotion in anything. So that's intrinsically and anthropologically, biologically who they are. So they change frequently. And it takes a lot to get them to make a decision. If he hasn't made a decision, he's not going to share how he feels. So it's a clue for you. If he's not sharing how he's feeling, he hasn't made any decisions about you or the relationship. And you cannot advocate for that. Meaning, you can't try to convince him of something that you want that is maybe you know is right because you know he feels a certain way so you want to make it happen okay it doesn't work if it worked we'd all be in great relationships because women are very clear about how they feel they communicate those feelings usually very very well verbally and remember he doesn't relate via verbalization he relates via action 
So when you don't act on what he's telling you when he does, this is great. Here's another reason for you that he has been trained not to share his feelings because mostly when he shared his feelings, he gets into trouble down the line. What's the trouble for him? Talking about it. Doesn't want to do that. So that's a, a main reason that you will overreact and he cannot take that. Your overreaction, even just if it's only in that moment, he connotes will mean that it's going to bring drama and chaos for a foreseeable future and change things in the relationship. If he's happy with things now, then he doesn't want to change up anything. And you think, well, how can he not, um, how can he, he not uh, know his feelings and maybe change his mind? That's because of the puppy principle. Get that, it's in my book. If you get this foundational understanding of how men view women, understand them, relate to them, you will get this. You know, here's the thing. I'm, I'm here giving you this information on my channel. Many people want to give it in, you know, little sound bites that are quippy and um, can give you something that, you know, you'll, you'll click into that and you'll only do that. Well, if only it were that simple. It's not. These are very complex issues. They're human issues. We're complex creatures. And actually, so are men in their way. It, it's more straightforward, though, if you understand these foundational things. And that's what I'm trying to give you. So let's sum it up here. He doesn't want to tell you something right in this moment that he's feeling because it will change. Why does he know it will change? He only knows that if he hasn't made a decision. And this is why I work in my programs to help women guide the man through action to the decision. Why? Because men relate via their decisions um, and they predicate their life on their decisions, not their emotions like we do. Because we, when we feel an emotion, it is mostly fixed until something really changes it. It's not fixed for him. Understand that until he's made a decision. You see how it keeps coming back to that? He must make that decision. So if he's not sharing his feelings with you, he has not made a decision. Doesn't mean he doesn't feel something for you. Not at all. And don't take it that way. Because if you do, if you need that verbalization many times, you're going to feel lack, you're going to feel want, you're going to stay in an unsteady, uneven anxiety state that is not going to help you get what it is that you want. If he's feeling that coming from you, then he's going to definitely not talk about it. He's going to feel like you're going to overreact. And then what's going to come from that? So you now know the reasons why. And it, it is a bit complex. But if you take it down to um, these baseline level understanding here, you will not feel something is wrong in your relationship because he's not sharing his feelings. He doesn't feel comfortable sharing them because of your possible overreaction. That's one. But also that before he's made a decision, he, he feels that, that those feelings will change. And he needs to make that decision. We got to guide him there. If you've been in a relationship for a year or more, and he's not gotten or come to that decision, we need to work on this. Because there's something you are doing, and, and we have the approaches and strategies that will work to allow him to get to his deepest feelings, and then come forward with them through that decision. Because if he's not willing to make that decision, then you're likely not going to have hope in this relationship. He'll love you for the time, but he's going to be a consumer. 
and you know that from my book, we want to get him to be a bona fide buyer, okay? So, what you do or say, you must show complete, just openness and acceptance. And um, how you do that, if he feels you are not steady, and that if he brings something up, you're, again, gonna challenge it, you're gonna try to advocate for your position, rather than just accept, listen, and hold back. Accept, listen, hold back. Simple as that. Just take in what he's saying. Say, okay, I hear you. If it's something lovely, I, I like hearing that. That's really nice. If it's something not, I just go, hmm, I guess, okay, I need to think about that one. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You see, those things are not challenging. They're just allowing him to come forward with his feelings. Tip. If you show a lot of reactionary things to other things that are going on, then he's going to intuit that oh, if I share my feelings, boy, I'm going to get like a lot more flack and a lot more. I better not. I better hold back. So you see, when you hold back from being reactionary, overreacting and that's in his mind you can think I didn't overreact at all I was just being myself <laughs> um, men take the slightest action about emotional stuff as overreaction so you must feel calm confident steady knowing when you're with him think about I'm gonna wear that hat for myself that calm hat that confidence hat. Think about what that hat might be for yourself. Maybe it's a scarf. Maybe it's a certain outfit. Maybe it's a vision. Maybe it's a feeling, depending, you know, who you are. Do those things to get yourself in alignment when you're with him. Because if you show overreaction about other things, then he's going to intuit that you will certainly overreact about these things. These are, um, I know I've given you a lot today to think about, but, but you must, you must think, am I showing overreaction um, in other things so that he feels fearful of coming uh, to me about any feelings or sharing them because I'm gonna overreact. Okay, then he hasn't made up his mind. His feelings, he feels will change because he's in the moment on top of time. He doesn't want to come to you with anything until he's made a decision. And that makes him feel the most manly, that he's doing right by you. Because until he's made a decision, he knows he's not going to follow through with anything. So he, he doesn't want to share anything. Most importantly, he does not want discussion about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. If, if he ever shares something with you, take it in and say, okay, I hear you. Um, say something banal about it. Wow, interesting. I call those things words of wonder. They do not connote any, um, any thought, feeling, judgment, anything on it. They just take it in. Start to incorporate some of this I've told you here today. And I know it's a little, you know, maybe you, you feel disjointed. Watch it again and again. Get this about men and you will understand so much more. He won't need to share his feelings. And when you start to embody this state of the calm, confidence, knowing, knowing why he doesn't, and it doesn't mean anything about the possibility of your relationship. If you stop talking to him about the relationship, you will allow him to come forward and possibly talk to you. And then you will be ready to not overreact and to not continue the discussion. 
You see, you let him lead it. You don't further it to try to get more information, okay? That's going to be another. That's a huge tip, okay? Um, more on this always. Ask me questions here. Uh, put them uh, down below, and I will be glad to answer them. Connect with me on, on Instagram, and we can be, you know, DMing there. Um, but, but definitely put those questions here, and I will get to them. I trust this was helpful for you today. Really keep listening back. It's the repetition that will get you somewhere. And keep doing that. You will succeed. Don't forget, in any interaction, right, and I say this on my podcast, make him wonder, in any interaction, you've got to be making him wonder. Discussion about it without you just letting him, you know, kind of spill it out to you will lessen his wonder. And to succeed in any relationship, you got to make him wonder. Until next time, keep listening. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video, and I enjoy bringing you content that is valuable for success in your romantic life. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want more on any of the content you see here, you can go to my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. You can order it at any fine retailer where you get your books. And if you want more on me or any of my programs, my podcast, go to coachpaulagrooms.com and we could be talking soon.